It's been a downer of a day in the NFL. More than a handful of coaches are out of a job. Who got the axe today? Well, as you can see, the, the murderers row up before us here, Mike Shanahan, Jim Schwartz in Detroit, Greg Schiano in Tampa, Leslie Frazier, really beloved by his locker room in Minnesota, but that organization has to sell new tickets for a new stadium, and they said that he has to go as well. So you've got six openings, including Gary Kubiak, who was fired in Houston a few weeks ago in the NFL, and hey, they might not be done yet, guys. <laughs> There's a situation in Oakland where we're still waiting to hear how that's going to go. The situation in Tennessee is still developing. Uh, so a lot a lot of people losing their jobs today. A lot of people, not just the head coaches, but the assistants. And it tells you what a tough world the NFL is. There's 20 teams that didn't make the playoffs that are sitting around today, and already six of them have said the head coach has to go. It is uh, Seth Meyers uh, on Twitter remarked that it reminds him of the, the final scene in the Godfather pictures where all these people, all these rival gang members get whacked. In particular, Browns players don't seem to be taking the news of their coaches firing too well. According to uh, Mike Silver of NFL Network, one Browns player said, quote, we are so dysfunctional. These billionaires need to pick somebody and stay with them. These aren't girlfriends. Now, this team ended the season four and 12. Are you surprised by the show of support for uh, Coach uh, Chudzinski? Well, a lovely picture, by the way, of what NFL players think how their girlfriends should be treated. But we'll leave that one alone for the moment. For now. For now, um, yes. You know, the, the biggest thing with Chud, as the players call him in Cleveland, is that he was in that position for less than a year. He was installed less than a year ago. They traded away one of his best players in the middle of the season. And apparently one of the points of contention with management was that he wasn't going to suspend a player a couple of weeks ago for discipline reasons that apparently only ownership wanted him to, quote, hold players more accountable, and he stood up on the side of the players. So not surprising, considering all that backstory, that there is such a show of support for him. But it is surprising that after less than a year, they're kicking this guy out. There's no way that an NFL coach can in install the systemic changes that need to be done in an organization like the Cleveland Browns that have been losing so long in less than a year. So the tolerance level is obviously not very high. A lot of backlash and criticism. The Browns ownership held a press conference today where they were just hammered by the local media saying, how can we trust you on your track record to pick the next coach? You just picked a new guy less than a year ago and you're telling us he's no good. So a mess over there, a mess where you are in Washington, D.C. too, with the Mike Shanahan firing. A lot of interesting stuff going around in the NFL and we'll all, of course, be watching.